All right, guys. Here we go. Just finished our rookie challenge game. Now we're going to go into the interview section. So I'll let you hear the interview questions. I'll tell you what I pick, and then we'll hear my response. Yeah, yeah. Bob Train. All right, I'm fired up. Hope I go top ten. I should. Utah Jazz. I don't know what pick they have. All right, here's the question. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm the director of player personnel for the Utah Jazz. My scouts have expressed a lot of interest in you. Before I can give my blessing to use our draft pick on you, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, you know, to make sure you'd fit in with what we do here. We really feel like we have some nice young pieces in Derek Favors and Al Jefferson. If you were to join the Utah Jazz, where would you see yourself fitting in with those guys? All right. I think I'm going to go with I'm going to go with A. We would be dominant together. I really respect both of their games. I think given the chance to learn the pro game and learn their tendencies, we can definitely be a force to be reckoned with as a three-man unit. I'd be honored to play alongside them and the rest of the team. That's a nice politically correct answer. Let's see. One more question, if you don't mind. We realize that here in Utah, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or Chicago. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Utah Jazz. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of the Utah Jazz. Are you that person? I don't really want to be a member of the Utah Jazz, but I'll say yes, just because I want to get drafted. <laughs> I would be honored to be a member of this organization. From everything I've seen, you guys have a great fan base in Salt Lake City. I'd love to lead this team for the next decade. Love it. Oh, hero as a Dan. That's great. Those answers were music to our ears. With any luck, you'll fall to us in the Those draft. Are... All politically correct answers. Golden State Warriors. Hello, I'm the head scout for the Golden State Warriors. I want you to know that we're strongly considering you based on your performance tonight with our first round pick, 11th overall. We'd like to get to know you a little better before committing to you. I'm sure you understand. We have a couple of questions, if you don't mind. We really feel like we have a great piece in David Lee. We think that given a chance to develop, you and David can form a potent front line for this team. What do you think about that assessment? Uh, yeah, I have a higher ceiling. I'm better than I that. I think David and I have a somewhat similar game. I'd, I'd like to think I have a much higher ceiling than him, you know, as far as talent goes. I'll tell you what I'm telling the other teams. You can't go wrong drafting me. I'm a worker. I give 100%. Bob Train gives 100%. Interesting. Next question. This team has a lot of momentum right now. We went through a rough stretch and had some recent draft picks that didn't work out. With guys like Monte, Stephen Curry, and David Lee, we really feel like we're on the up and up. We like what we've seen out of you, but how do you see yourself fitting in with the team? Let's see. I would like to say... I'd compliment them well. Let's do another I love answer. the talent already on this team. I don't understand how they aren't winning 50 games a season, to be honest. I really think I can compliment these players and take the team to the next level. This team's a dream fit for me, man. Hell yeah. Thanks so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you're still on board when it's our turn to pick. Dude, seriously, a 7-2 guy should be top three pick seriously nice job out there tonight your play really impressed us so much so that we're considering using our pick on you if you're available when our turn comes up before we get that far we'd really like to ask you a couple of questions question number one as a whole the Suns have kept the same core for the better part of a decade we found a winning formula and stuck by it just rotating in supporting pieces where necessary as I'm sure you've seen over the last year or so we're in the midst of overhauling our roster we really love the idea of you being a part of that process what do you think about being a centerpiece for the new Phoenix Suns? Phoenix Suns. I like being called a centerpiece. Man, I love the idea that you consider me a centerpiece. That type of confidence in me, how can I not love the idea? I'm interested in making a name for myself in the NBA, and Phoenix sounds like a great fit to me. 
Hell yeah. All right then, one more. Being in the NBA brings a lot of responsibilities, and some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? Get the YouTube money! I'm gonna say take care of my parents, because that's another politically correct answer. Easy answer. My parents have spent their entire life putting me into the position I'm in right now. I want nothing more than to take care of them and make sure that the rest of their lives are as carefree as possible. I don't need glitz and glamour. I just need my loved ones cared for. Beautiful answer, sir. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely I'm, someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's 10. our turn to pick. Better go top 10. I'm going to be mad if I don't. Draft time. I'm going to see what they think of me. Where am I going to go in the mock draft? Better be top. Top 5. 12? Really? Come on. I was dominant that game. 15 points, 12 boards, and 3 blocks. How do I not stand out defensively with 3 blocks and 12 rebounds? Seriously? This game's broken. Honestly, Good dude, a 7 foot 2 guy. A 7 foot 2 guy Tonight needs to go on top 5. How could he not? Even if he didn't do a good, a 7 2 guy, you'd think he could mold them into something. It's also a time of extraordinary hope and excitement. All right, shut up, David Stern. We should get skip past this return. In more than 200 countries and territories, and of course to all of our wonderful fans right here. Thank you for joining. I heard us. this before. I know the young men who to hear their names called tonight can't wait to compete against the best basketball players in the world. I'll so be happy just started. going in the top 15 though. That gives me a good shot of uh with the first starting at some the point pretty quick draft, into the season. The Cleveland Cavaliers select Doug Martin from the University of Michigan. Doug Martin is always the number one pick. With the second Seems like pick it. In the I want to see where that NBA piece of crap Anderson goes. Timberwolves select Cliff Davis from the Ohio State University. A little blonde-haired short white kid that kept With taking the, the ball and not passing to me. I hope I go before him. The Utah Jazz select Derek Gibson from the University of Tennessee. Yay, Gibson! Yay for Gibson! With the fourth pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Larry Douglas oh. from the University Oh, Bob Train of does make a Michael Buckley center. With the fifth pick Big old in the black 2011 guy. NBA draft, the Toronto Raptors select Nick Brown from Boston College. All right, no Anderson yet, so that's good. With the sixth pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Washington Wizards select Brad Mason from DePaul University. Hmm, hmm, hmm. With the seventh mm -hmm. pick in the 2011 mm -hmm. NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select uh, Raymond Rice from the University Raymond of Illinois. Raymond Rice. I went to the Bucks with, the with my shooting guard. Hope I go draft, around. The Detroit Pistons select Utah wouldn't Aaron be too bad. Dixon Utah or Phoenix would both be good. Or if with I fall down to the Pacers, that wouldn't be too bad. NBA draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Eric Anderson from Oh the no, State there's University. that guy. Dang it. I didn't want that guy to go in front of me. In the 2011 NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select a freaking jerk. Sam Hart from the University of Minnesota. Jerk face. All right, so here's where I should go, With somewhere in this area. In the 2011 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select George Turner from the University George of Oklahoma. George Turner. All right. It's probably going to be the Jazz the or the Suns. Which one? NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select the 20-year-old big man Here he from is. the University of Minnesota. The big man.
Bob Train McBacon Pants. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Utah Jazz take Bob Train. Bob Train McBacon Pants. 1.74 million a year for two years. Beautiful job. Let's see that poster. And this box is getting smaller. I'm trying to get out. I guess they're not doing the poster this time. Or billboard or whatever. Where's my billboard? Alright, well that's it. Uh, probably gonna play a few games. If I have a good one, I'll post it up. Thanks for watching and tell Bob Shane hi. <laughs>